Yo, what up, baby? Marjack79 here. We are back again today with another Marvel Legends action figure review. Today, we are taking a look at the 2020 new Black Widow release based off of the brand new movie Black Widow that comes out in a couple of months. This is being filmed in March. The figures li literally just came out today. So, I went on ahead and picked them up so I can get out some reviews for you guys to see how they look compared to the older Black Widows in my collection. So, obviously, this is the new Black Widow in her brand new outfit based off of the movie that comes out in May. So it's looking really cool in the package here. So let's get a close up look. The figure in the package. So she comes with two twin pistols, two batons, two fisted hands, the red dynamo uh, leg build a piece figure here, Hasbro, Marvel, spin it to the side. Some really awesome artwork here. I love that. That's really cool right there. Very nice. Very sexy picture of Black Widow. I like it. Uh, we got her another cool uh, artwork here. Uh, Natasha Romanoff reunites with a group of spies from her past to stop a lethal force. Very nice Black Widow. Then we have some new uh, box art from the other figures in the uh, line. So we're definitely going to be doing the Taskmaster, the uh, Yolanda, Bellavon, and the Red Guardian. The reviews on all those figures on this channel as well. So, so look forward to that. Make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss out. The Marvel, attention, blah, blah, blah. Spin to the bottom. All right, man, let's crack this baby open and let's take a look. All right, and we're back, man. So let's go ahead, let's get a look at the figure right here. So first off, face sculpt, absolutely beautiful. Uh, Scarlett Johansson, easily one of my favorite female actors uh, in the past two decades. Uh, I'm gonna little, I'm gonna be a little bit biased on this figure because she's just so doggone beautiful. So for going ahead and forgive me right right off the bat. Um, so we do have a little speck there at the top of her forehead there. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but that's a little bit unfortunate. But the hair piece looks really good. The red the red is really popping. Green eyes look good. Uh, eyebrows and lips came out good. Nose looks good. Outfit came out good as well. It looks uh, at least what the uh, promotional imagery of the uh, uh, trailers and the film is looking like. Goat is really popping. So down to the past, to the legs, let's spin it around to the back here. I uh, could have been a little bit more thick on that caboose area, though. Know, you know what I'm saying? Could have been a little bit, a little bit more back there. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Yeah, just a little, little bit. You know, shit. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> but uh, legs look look okay. Uh, the back of the outfit is cool. Hair piece came out good. Feet came out good. Um, looks like kind of a flat air surface for the heels at least they didn't give us those god awful heel toes that they try to give a lot of the female uh heroes so really happy about that uh let's get to the let's take a look at these accessories here real quick not a fan of these these batons um if you look at the promotional imagery they definitely look more representative to the batons here so i might actually switch those out yeah <laughs> definitely looks like more like those batons i'll even show you a picture of the artwork like right here and if you were wondering i picked this figure up from target for 19.99 shout out to brad Kake, woo! see what i'm saying so you know i mean it clearly looks just like these and not these little pieces of you know what here so these are basically trash to me so uh, then we have the two twin pistols here. Those look cool as well. Probably stick those in the holsters there. And then we also have two fisted hands as well. So, all right, let's go ahead. Let's hit her articulation, man. But first, let's do another quick side piece here. Go came out good. Close up on the face. So beautiful, man. Goodness, she's a beautiful actress. Turn it to the back. That's good. That's just, you know, I just, I gotta keep bringing it up. I gotta keep bringing it up. <laughs> a little bit more, man. All right, let's hit her articulation here. Okay, head rotate 360 degrees. Be pushed uh, not down, okay? Not up, because this hair kind of hinders it a bit. So, so it can go uh, rotate, let's tilt to the left, tilt to the right, go. Uh, ugh, shoulder. Rotate 360 degrees, pushed that much upwards. Not much, kind of gets hindered by this little piece here. Uh, elbow joint, 
kind of get 90 degrees out of there. No bicep swivel. You, you never get bicep swivels with the female characters, man. I don't know why. Even though she's a main character now, still no bicep swivel. Sheesh. Wrist, rotate 360 degrees. Tilt. Uh, yeah, tip upwards a bit. Back. No left and right, though. Just up and down. Chest. Ab chest crunch slightly. Upwards. Rotate 360 degrees. Uh, ab rotation, no, no ab rotation. Okay, that's a little different. Uh, leg you can be pushed outwards that much, pushed backwards this much. As you see, knee all the way back. Here you go, boom. Ankle all the way down, all the way up. Rotate 360 degrees, tilt. No tilt. Ugh, that's unfortunate. Damn, you don't get no tilts on that. That's not good at all. Sheesh. It might make her a little bit difficult to stand or to get her into an, an action pose. Alright. So, okay. So, left should be the same side. Um, I feel like the leg kind of gets hindered a little bit by the Hollister, as you, as you can see. So, you know. Sorry, though. No biggie. Um, Belt loop is uh, kind of loose on the figure, as you can see, it just moves around. So let's uh, let's put the guns in her hands here. So guns guns go in pretty easily, as you can see. Boom, boom. Probably I'm not gonna pose her like that though. I'm definitely I'm probably gonna steal the batons from the other my other Black Widow fit fig. And give her and pose her with those. These are going to go in the holster here. There we go. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, that looks okay. So, so yeah, we only can put that right there. As you can see. Okay, so, we took our batons away from this uh, Black Widow. Have the Infinity, uh, or the Endgame Black Widow head on top of the uh, original Avengers Black Widow body. So, that one never really made sense, but it was my favorite combination of it. So, this one here makes a little bit more sense. So I was curious, so let's see if we can do some head swaps between these three figures, between the Infinity War, the new Black Widow, and the in-game head swaps. Okay, so I decided to try out the Infinity War head sculpt first, uh, the, the blind hair sculpt. Uh, it kind of gives her a giraffe neck look, so I'm not really a fan of that. Um, the Black Widow head, it really doesn't fit on top of the in game of the Infinity War body. It just kind of sits on top of the peg, so, but I feel like that still kind of comes out good though, so that's definitely an option if you wanted that look, but I'm not a fan of that. That makes her neck look a little bit too long for me, so, I uh, it just, yeah, it just seems like she's got a really long neck. Okay, so now we put the end game head on the Black Widow body and the Black Widow head on the original Avengers body. So, again, uh, makes that neck look really long. Uh, also, I think the skin tone from the head to the body is a bit different. So, but I feel like the Black Widow head on the Avengers body, that comes out really good. I really do like that. But again, it really doesn't fit on top of the peg either, though. So, we have that to contend with. So, it's definitely not going to be any dynamic poses. You can, you can keep her in, like, a standing position. But, you know, that's about it, though. But this one fits on her snug. But it just doesn't look right to me. It looks odd. So, definitely going to just, I think we're just going to switch those back and keep them how they are. So okay so and there we have everything back to i think how i like a man so i think that's definitely the pose we're going to go with with our new black widow figure and it's probably going to be the new main one for the shelf definitely like the outfit it's definitely not a perfect figure by any means uh articulation in the head could have been a bit better the uh, hair kind of kills the head articulation elbow i wish elbows and arms i wish you can push them in a little bit more um, even with the better um, batons, I mean, these are not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. I was really going for the pose that she has in the promotional imagery, but it's not perfect. So, and then, you know, I wish I could push those legs together a, a little bit more, but they just don't go any further than that. So, but she can do the splits though. So, all right, I think that's going to do it, man. So let's go ahead. Let's take her down to the museum and let's finish out here. And we're back, man. And now we have our new Black Widow set up in the main display of the Avengers MCU hall here, right next to the Worthy Cap. 
Iron Spider. Really like how that turned out. So I think that's a good representation of uh, the Black Widow in the final resting spot for the MCU spot and the museum, man. So got the Infinity War Black Widow behind there. And then the Endgame slash Avengers Black Widow behind there, right next to Hawkeye. So I like that a lot as well. So I think that's going to do it, man. So as always, thanks everybody for watching. Stay tuned for either tomorrow or the next day, but most likely tomorrow I'm going to do the Taskmaster. So stay tuned for that. Uh, you can follow me at youtube.com slash marjack79. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And as always, I will catch you guys on the next one. I'll see you guys later. Bye.